Substack tutorial, how to use Substack to create your own newsletter. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Substack to create your own newsletter. Now, Substack is really a customized platform that you might not have heard of because it's something that is so well tailored that can help you in blogging, creating newsletters, and much, much more academically as well as professionally all on their platform. So let's jump right in and start building. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign up on Substack and this is really simple. For this, all you have to do is click on sign in on the top right and then click on create an account. Now, once you click on create an account over here, you have to choose your interests. Now, I recommend you pay attention to this because it's going to be really filtering out the type of content you're going to be seeing over here as well. So let's say I want to do humor, philosophy, fashion, beauty, and health and wellness, food and drinks, faith and spirituality. Now, once I've chosen my topics of interest, I can click on continue and it will show me certain uh, writers that I might like. Now, you can unselect all of these and continue without subscribing, or if you take a look at some of these writers and you feel like, oh, I actually do think that this is going to be interesting. So I can choose to subscribe to those ones. And then after that, I am going to click on subscribe. Now, once we've done that, it's time to enter our email address and then click on subscribe and join Substack. Now, after that, you're going to add your name. And once you add your name, you're going to add your handle. Your handle is usually just going to be your name. And if it's not available, you usually add like a couple of numbers and then you add your bio. So I'm a writer in the oven. And then I'll just click on continue over here. And just like that, my Substack account has been created. So I can get started with reading as well as writing. Now, once you have created your account, this will lead you back to the dashboard on Substack and you're going to click on create your Substack because from here, we're actually going to be creating our account and creating our own publication. So in your publication URL, it will say what type of URL you want to use. Now, I don't want to use my personal name. Let's say I want to use my business name, which is Pink Sapphire. So this is not taken. This is available, so I can use this. So whatever business that you're launching your newsletter for, you want to add that as your publication URL. Click on continue from here and you can import your mailing list. Or if you don't have one already, you can skip it for now or bring your list from Patreon, Ghost, MailChimp, Tiny Letter, and other applications. I'm going to skip this for now and we can add a couple of subscribers. So I will add myself like this and then I'll click on continue over here. Now, after that, we can choose to recommend other writers to our viewers, but I'm just going to skip this for now. And this will lead us to our actual Substack. So in our Substack, we can now get started with our subscribers and start sending them newsletters. Now, you will see the option of turning on paid, and this allows you to build paid subscriptions. You can connect with Stripe to be able to accept payments from your subscribers if you are running a paid newsletter. That is one way to do that. Now, let's get started with our newsletter, and the way that we're going to get started is we're going to go into posts over here. Here, I like to post my newsletter. However, you can also add things such as podcasts over here. You can also view your growth in their subscriber section and see your stats. And then you also have some general recommendations and settings. Now, in your settings, you are going to have a short description, which you're going to change. So this is going to be a newsletter about the latest trends in fashion. And then I'll just click on save. Now, once I click on save, I can further customize my design uh, for my site. So I'll click on customize over here. We can go into branding and upload our own coloring. We can also customize the accent colors as well. 
and because they don't display the color wheel i recommend that you just open up the color picker on google and you can just copy the hex code to customize the colors you can also change you know the font styles as you go if i want to use fancy serif like this and i'll just click on save now that I'm satisfied with the overall appearance and settings, it's time to go back into posts and start building our first newsletter. So firstly, I will click on new post over here and I am not going to add a referral button. I can click on edit email header and footer to customize my headers and footers. So I will click on upload over here to upload an image for my header and footer. And I will just be using this simple image and I can use this as a image. So this is too tall and you will see this is the recommended size. If you are going to stray from the recommended size, it will not be added. So I'm going to leave it and I'll cut out the image later, but I will start creating my first post. Now this is going to be maybe my June or this is going to be my December slumber. And I'll add a subtitle, which is going to say something along the lines of Four sheets wrap you in warmth for the sizzle of winter. And I will just fix this spelling. And now below that, you will have yourself as the author. You can remove that as well and choose a guest as well. But I'm going to add myself and then I can proceed with writing. Now in Substack, you can really customize your newsletter. So if I start writing, I'll just use Quinbot, Quillbot to start writing. And I am just going to let it check my grammar. And then I will just write a basic newsletter. So her is in gold chains are in but leather is out like this so whatever i want to add i can add below that you also have the option to embed code as well as add hyperlinks add images audio video as well as add quotations you can also add a subscription button so if you want to add a buy now button or a purchasing button that is linking to Shopify or any other third party platform, you can easily insert that button over here. So I want to add a subscribe now button. And then we even have other sections that allow us to create things like polls to better gather information about our subscribers. We also can include footnotes, poetry, financial charts, dividers, and code blocks for things such as moving animations. Once completed, click on continue on the top right and you will see your publishing settings. So who is this for? And then you can select your tags, add your social preview, and you have two delivery options. So you can schedule a time to email and publish, or you can just directly send it out. So I will send it out to everyone right now. And now my Substack is being published. So if I copy the link, I will be able to see what my Substack looks like. So I have shareable images of this as well that can help me in sharing them on social media as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.